I'm here at a place called Assumpac in Vineland, New Jersey. Uh, never been here before. And it's, it, you can't really get in here with the truck the size I've got. And anybody with a day cab would be having a fit. Look at all this dirt. Look at the lack of room. No pull-up room. You have to blindside into your dock. And it is a very tiny lot. There's a trailer right next door. Pulling up on this dirt could catch the bottom of these bumpers which hang very, very low to the ground and could easily rip the bumper off. So we're having a problem here. This, I think the stop should be removed. Uh, and certainly it's not doable with uh, a sleeper truck. You know, all this dirt is a, is a real big problem too. This is mud, you know, basically. Get a little more wet back here. And, Look at all the, the tires, the grooves from the tires. So you know I'm not the only truck driver that I was using water. But we're still not, you know, the way I like the park, which is nice and straight and neat and all that. But we're only getting one pallet and if the place wasn't such a crap hole, unsafe crap hole, which like I said, even for a, a person in a day cab would be uh, cussing at this place for sure. Now do it with a, a big truck with a sleeper. It's really not designed for a, a, a rig this big. But we did it. We're in. Get the one pallet. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Bye. Okay, right now I'm at one of our stops up in um, Elmsford, New York. And the place is called San Mar. And it's extremely, extremely small here. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, with not too, too much difficulty, but then you can't get out. So, yeah, I, I lost 45 minutes here one day trying to get out. And I see we've got a New England truck here, and uh, there's door 9. If that door right there <laughs> is where I'm supposed to go into, and look at the car is parked right next to it. And guess who? I'm going to be making people move, because I'm not taking a chance of hitting one of these boneheads. This place is really not designed for the, uh, the equipment. We get it in here, but they say it's kind of like the Roach Motel. You check in, but you can't check out. <laughs> All right, well, here's the door we're going to be getting in. I did have someone move their car in this little door nine, so uh, very limited space. I pulled all my tandems up on the truck. <clears throat> Supposedly makes that a little easier to <laughs> get in the dock. One of these places that you've got cars whizzing in and out. Poland Spring is back there. And I'm in New York, so you can't expect anybody to give them any uh, breaks here on my courtesy. Well, I'm not averse to leaning on this morning when I need to. <laughs> I would love to get this in one shot. But I'm not going to hold my breath. Again, because of the... Now we got a car approaching the front. And these people get impatient. Now these guys know he's going to pass. Alright, go ahead. Get out of the way. supposed to get out and look. The problem is by the time I go out and look, see it's clear, get back in the truck, start to back, somebody's scooting up on the right. Thank you folks. I actually did get it in on the first shot and you can see how much room I have between me now and the cars in front and these guys are squeezing past. And if there was a, a Poland Spring truck that needs to get through, guess what? He won't be getting through. See, we're in. Not absolutely perfect. I would have liked it over uh, half a foot more, but as long as he can get the plate in or uh, something, you know, into the trailer so he can use his forklift, we'll be all right. But look at the amount of space. There's like no space between the front of my truck and these cars. Very 
Welcome to New York. <laughs> I think I am in pretty well. What it is is there's the uh, bumper on the left side, no bumper on the right side, which makes it look like I'm, I'm, I'm off, but uh, I don't think I'm off at all. Not bad, one shot. Damn, who says girls can't park? Yeah, here's the back of the trailer. We did fine. We did really, really well. I'm very pleased. As I've had days where I come here and I actually struggle. Um, I know, 20 minutes of inching forward, inching back, inching forward, cursing, crying. <laughs> I'm just so pleased. It went in with no problem today. But the only thing that can get past me right now are the cars. There was a truck, a New England truck, over to my right, who may need to come down here. And guess what? He can't. Uh, he could if I unhooked my, trail, my tractor, but I don't expect to be here more than about 15 minutes. So, I'm not going to do it. The lens cap on, here we go. Look at that, I got the dock in one shot. Look how nice and straight that is. Woohoo! I don't get to do that every single time, so. <laughs> I'm like patting myself on the back. We have some drums, let's figure out these strapped in. Oh, you got it. Hey, you're a smart guy. 